Okay, here's the uh, masking tutorial that everybody wanted to see with Movie Edit Pro. And I've got one little tip for you before we get started. And this is going to help you do all your videos and make them look better. Is you need to invest in a tripod. Now you don't have to get a top of the line tripod. You can get a cheap one. I got one from Walmart for around $20. I got one from Best Buy for about the same price. And uh, you have to use these or at least keep your camera in the same position when you're doing all these special effects like the ghost effect, the cloning effect, and the masking effect that we're going to look at today. You've got to keep the camera still in the same position throughout your whole recording. Okay? Now let's get that out of the way. Let's look at the video that we did with the masking. I did it in 38 seconds, the whole video, one take, and uh, here it is. All right? You see she's throwing the golf ball up and down, and she walks away. That was the end. The golf ball part was the first part of the clip. The walking away was the end part. Okay. Here's the part where she walks in and looks at herself. But you see nobody's there. We'll get to that later. But to make this video look real, you see she has to look at an imaginary person, walk around, look again, look at the golf ball in the air, and walk off. And that's the whole video clip. Now what we have to do to get this masking effect down, we need to select an image right here. You see where the golf ball is up in the air? Right there? That's going to be our freeze frame, our first freeze frame. Now we're going to expand the video on the timeline so we can grab this freeze frame right here. Select it right here with the starting and ending markers. Click File, Export, and then you want to export it as a single frame BMP or JPG. I use BMP. All right, one of the key notes here that when you export your freeze frame, it has to be at the same resolution that you recorded the video in, like 640 by 480, 720 by 480, however it is. But just remember when you export it, it's got to be the same size or it won't work right. Now that you did your freeze frame, it's going to look like this right here. And this is paint. This is Windows Paint. I'm going to show you two different ways to do it. Windows Paint is the way I did it in the masking effect because most everybody has Windows Paint. But I also have Magic Extreme Photo Editor and uh, I'll show you how to do it in that too. Anyway, here, here's your freeze frame. What you want to do, you want to select the, uh, the cropping and highlight it. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm cropping right now right there then click edit cut now I've just got a nice white background so now we're going to go up to the the colors we're going to select a green color in the fill button boom right there you've just filled in almost half the screen with the green and that's going to come into effect later because we're going to use that as a chroma key with the freeze frame here now I'm not going to do the entire screen but I'm just going to show you some simple easy ways to do it and we're going to use the erase button now and we're going to get in a little close you're going to have to do this on your own though and get really close to make it look good but you see what I'm doing I'm actually just trying to get an outline of the person and then you go in and you just keep erasing like that oops I made a mistake Control Z okay let's start over Anyway, you get the, the gist of it. You do the erase, and you get close as you can. Then you have to blow it up and do that again. And then use the fill button and turn it green. Now what you end up with is something that looks like this. And that's what we're going to use in the masking video. Now, you can also do it. I, I like this program. I just got it. It's uh, made by Magic. It's the uh, photo edit extreme program and you can do the same thing in here it's got the uh, the lasso the lasso mask effect or the uh, 
the square effect, same thing. Grab it, push it around, and we're going to cut that out. Then we're going to use the fill button again, just like that. And uh, you can do the same thing here with uh, the freehand. Like that. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to go into a big detail on it, but you would do something like that to get it to work right. And uh, basically the same thing comes up and you get this picture again. Alright, so now let's go back to uh, Movie Edit Pro. And you can do this. I'm using version 14 right now, but I've done this with version 12 and version 11. It works the same way and it'll probably work with just about any other video editing program too. Alright, so you've got your green screen freeze frame. Now this is what it would look like on the timeline here. Now what you want to do is put your uh, green screen freeze frame on the second track or third track. You're going to right click, select video effects, you're going to select green box and say OK. Now you see the green is gone and it's turned black. If that happens, that means the chroma key effect is working. And now, look at that. Doesn't that look sharp, crisp, and like she's actually in there? There's the other part of the video. Now how you get that effect is this. All you do is split the video up while you keep the freeze frame on the bottom of the screen right here. Split your video up into your separate parts and just have it where she walks up or your person walks up and looks. You've got the chroma key effect going on and there it is. There's your masking effect with Movie Edit Pro. Well, I hope this helped everybody and uh, if you got any requests for tutorials, just let me know. Thank you.